Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a vlog today. I've been inspired because I just received my mini tripod in the mail. I ordered this back in June and it only just arrived. It is now the end of August, like August is almost done. So it's taken quite a few months or a couple of months to get here. So I was inspired to do a vlog today so I can give it a good test run. I'm using it at the moment. Hopefully this footage is nice and stable because I've got like a good handle to hold on to. But anyway, I am going to leave the house today. Obviously, we are in stage four lockdown in Melbourne. I very rarely leave the house. If I do leave the house, it's usually to go to the post office to send, um, you know, maker orders or eBay orders or it's just to the post box if it's something that I can just pop in the post box. But about once every two weeks, I go to Coles. So today I'm gonna to go to Coles, I've gotta get some groceries. And then I think I will come home and work on my newest design, which is the pattern that I'm designing for the how to design a crochet pattern. Um, video series. I have already uploaded part one. If you haven't watched that and you want to, feel free to go and check it out. But it's basically just where I take you through my entire process on how I design a crochet pattern. And I'm really excited for this one. I'm really loving it so far. So I'll show you guys what that looks like later on. But for now, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm going to get ready to go to Coles. How exciting! <laughs> I actually just remembered I've got a couple of orders that I need to pack. So I'm going to pack those. We'll go drop those off at the post box and then we'll go to Coles. So the first order is for a 4.5 millimeter Clover Armor hook. So I pop that into the envelope. I also put in a little flyer for maker because I figure this is my target audience, guys. If you're buying a crochet hook, you're a crocheter or you know a crocheter, so you may be interested in a maker bag marketing. And then I just have a little business card of mine that I put in because, you know, if I don't promote myself, who is? So anyway, that all goes into the envelope and then I seal it up and then I put some stamps on it and off it goes. Then I just go on my phone, I mark it as fulfilled, and that's all there is to it. I then have another order to pack, which is for these 4mm Knit Pro Symphony DPN knitting needles, double pointed knitting needles, and I do the exact same. Business card, make a flyer, and that all goes into the envelope. And then we go to the post box and we post it. All right, orders are packed. I am gonna go now put some shoes on and we're gonna go to Coles and to the post box. You will notice changing camera quality because I'm gonna start filming on my phone and that is because I do not have the confidence to take my huge ass camera out in public. So we're gonna be discreetly filming on my phone. Anyway, let's go do that. So I just got back from Coles. I have had my breakfast slash lunch. I am very much a late bloomer. 
I suppose. Um, I do not function well in the mornings. I probably don't really start functioning until about 11 a.m. Even though my alarm is set for 7.30 every morning and I get up at around 7.30, 8 o'clock every morning, um, I just don't really function until about 11 a.m. It's now almost one o'clock and I've only just eaten breakfast slash lunch. I never really eat breakfast. I'm not really a breakfast person. Um, I'll just wake up in the morning and have a coffee and that usually keeps me going until about lunchtime. You know, it works for me. But anyway, I'm about to jump on the Maker Instagram stories and show everybody my newest product, the product that I'm going to be releasing next. I'm so, so, so excited about this. I hope you guys love it, but I thought I would also show you guys what it is on here so you guys can have a look. And especially if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or follow Maker on Instagram, at least you'll still be able to see what it is. So I'm going to show you guys exactly what the new Maker product is. All right, guys, so this is it. This is the Maker Couch Caddy. I am so excited about this. I absolutely love it already. This looks like your ordinary couch caddy. It's got your pockets here for, you know, like your cables and your TV remotes. It's got a pocket here for your laptop or some magazines. Um, I've also got my headphones in there. It's then got a tray on top of here, which attaches with um, magnets so it is easily removable if you didn't want to use the tray but then when we go around to this side it is a dream crochet storage for the couch now I know I'm not alone in this when I say that I am constantly losing my hooks my stitch markers, my needles, everything down the side of the couch or, you know, in between the cushions down here, I'm always losing them. So I wanted to design this couch caddy to basically eradicate that issue. So now you should never lose any of your hooks, needles, scissors, anything down the side of the couch anymore. So just like the Maker Tote Bag, it has nine little storage pockets for your slim handled crochet hooks. I've got my clover hooks in here. They fit absolutely perfectly. We've then got four wide handled hook storages, which you can either store hooks in there um, or you can store other things like scissors. I've got two pairs of scissors in there and then I've got some of my circular knitting needles in there. This works really well because you can put your knitting needles in that pocket there and then tuck the cables into there so it keeps it all nice and neat. We've then got a patch pocket up here which I've just got my tape measure in. Perfect for holding tape measures or any other little bits and pieces. You could also slip your phone into there if you wanted to. And then the new addition, which we do not have in the Maker Tote Bag, is the little zip pocket. Now, this is perfect for your needles and your stitch markers, so they will not get lost down the side of the couch anymore, which is absolutely amazing. But the features don't stop there. We've also got a little side pocket here, which is big enough to fit a notebook, which I've got in there. Or an iPad. Now it won't fit an iPad Pro. If you do have an iPad Pro or something bigger than this, you will need to pop it in the other side where the laptop is. Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's not really working out very well for me. All right, let's try again. <laughs> so that pocket there is big enough for your iPad. And that is pretty much it guys. I'm absolutely in love with this. I've been using it for about the last week and it has been an absolute lifesaver. It's so handy for keeping everything nice and organized when you're crocheting on the couch. And I know a lot of us are stuck at home at the moment, so we're not, you know, taking our crochet projects out and about. So you may not have a need for the tote bag at the moment. But now you can keep everything nice and organized at home and still have all the features of the Maker tote bag, but in the comfort of your lounge room. Now there are a couple of slight changes that are being made to this. So this is just a sample piece. So whenever I design something new, we get a sample um, made up and that is just purely so I can test it out. I can test the functionality and make sure it's all working properly. I can check the sizing and make sure it 
fits where it's meant to fit or you know things fit inside it that are meant to go inside it but there is a couple of slight little adjustments the first one will be that there will be a maker logo down here on the bottom of this pocket this one doesn't currently have our logo on it so i am adding a logo down here to the bottom of this pocket and we are also changing the location of the magnets on the top so as you can see my arm here is i guess a bit narrow um, for this which means the weight of everything in there pulls the magnets down at the side so we are now moving the magnets in closer to the center so the tray will still attach with magnets but they will just be better placed to hold it in place a little bit better for those of you who have a more narrow armrest like me but other than that, I got so, so lucky with this sample. It is absolutely perfect, other than those couple of things that I have pointed out. I am so happy with how it turned out. I cannot wait to see what you guys think. Please comment down below and let me know what you do think. I will be opening up a pre-order really, really soon. So if you did want to get your hands on one of these, please keep an eye on the Maker Instagram account and Facebook account, and they will be available in this tan color. And of course, black, which are our two staple colors which i think everything we ever release will probably be available in those two colors to start off with i am thinking of adding some new colors but one thing at a time guys one thing at a time so again they will be available in this tan color and also black just like the tote bags so i am now going to jump onto the maker instagram stories and show you guys pretty much what I just showed you. So I'm so excited. I always get so nervous um, releasing a new product. Not that it's happened very often. Like I've only got one product out so far, but even just the whole lead up to launching Maker, it's so nerve wracking because you just don't know what people are gonna think, if people are gonna like the product. I've already invested so much money into this couch caddy, so I just hope that you guys love it as much as I do. So anyway, off I go, wish me luck. I'm jumping onto our stories and I'm going to show everybody what our new product is. Okay, so I just finished posting over on the Maker Instagram account showing everyone the new product. I'm so excited. I'm nervous to hear what everyone is going to think. I haven't read like any of the feedback yet. I'm going to give it a little bit and then I'll go through it. But ah, it's so exciting. I feel like this is what a musician would feel like when they release a new album. <laughs> something like that you know what I mean obviously on a much smaller scale for me but it's just so exciting to work on something for so long and then have it actually in real life like have an actual product that I've designed myself from scratch like I don't think I'll ever get over this feeling it's so surreal and then to hear your feedback hopefully it's good um makes it even better so <sighs> I'm glad it's out there. Now I just have to wait and see what you guys think. All right, so now that I have the new maker product out to the world, I am going to sit down, have a coffee. I'm gonna work on my new design for a little bit. Um, and then I have to cook dinner. We're making meatballs tonight. We're gonna have spaghetti and meatballs. So, sorry if you can hear the noise in the background. It's my coffee machine. Um, we're going to have spaghetti and meatballs tonight because we usually, well, we get HelloFresh and every week you have to log into the app and choose which meals you want. And last week we forgot to do that. So they just send you like a lucky dip pretty much. They just send you whatever, which is fine. And their meals are always really good. So 
like that's not really an issue but one of the meals that they gave us were a bit like oh we don't really want that so we're going to repurpose the mints and make meatballs instead so it's our own fault for not going on and choosing our meals I don't know how we forgot but anyway should be good but my coffee's ready so I'm going to go grab that and then we'll sit down and we'll do a bit of crochet all right I've got my coffee liquid gold and now I'm going to work on my newest design so I'll take you guys through it I know you've seen well you may have seen my how to design a crochet pattern video part one already so you will have a little bit of an idea of what this is kind of going to look like but I thought I would show you guys where I'm up to at the moment so I originally went in with a eight millimeter hook which I found to be too small I needed to go up a size so I went up to a size nine millimeter and that was still too small as well so I'm now up to a 12 millimeter hook um, with this yarn it is a super bulky weight I think it's technically like a 16 ply yarn so it is quite bulky which is why I have to use such a big hook but anyway this is where I'm up to at the moment it is going to be a jumper as some of you would already know but this is what it looks like it's getting there I've got to do probably just one or two no actually probably maybe three because it's got to go around the neck more rows of this neck section and then I can go back to doing this section here which is just the shoulder so yeah this is what it's gonna look like I'm loving it so far I love that the neck is just part of the front panel there's no like neck seam or anything it's all just blending in as one hopefully it comes together once I do a back panel and sew the panels together hopefully the neck is not too high but we'll just see what happens I suppose but yeah I'm really happy with how it's turning out so far that's the length that it's going to be at the moment so it's like just on my hip which is where I wanted it so yeah I'm really happy with how it looks the texture is amazing I love using chunky yarn purely because the stitch definition is just so much better and the texture is so much better with a chunky yarn. Everything's just a, like a lot more pronounced, I suppose. Supposed, I suppose. But anyway, I'm going to work on this for a little bit. I need to go get another skein of yarn and I'll be back. Well guys that is the end of the day pretty much so that's gonna wrap up today's video now I'm gonna go crochet John's gonna play PlayStation what's new we're gonna have a Milo and we're gonna have some vanilla slice <laughs> what a way to end the day anyway thanks for watching if you haven't already make sure you go subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time bye guys see ya. say bye, bye. say bye Say bye. <laughs> bye, guys.